Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Jason Laird from the Storm Tracker Weather Center here with a quick afternoon weather update. Still tracking some flurries across the area, likely going to see a little more accumulation out of this system. Uh, however, as the evening rolls around, we are going to see it finally moving out of the region and uh, making way for just cloudy skies and a little bit of morning fog. We'll break that down momentarily. A couple advisories to point out. So uh, if you remember yesterday, much of the state was under a winter storm warning. We do still have a winter storm warning. We'll talk about that shortly, but currently we do have a winter weather advisory, which is kind of just a downgrade from that winter storm warning. So likely a little more accumulation. I know at the time of recording this, we're still seeing pretty heavy snow in Great Falls, so likely about one to two more inches of snow accumulation possible before this system actually moves out of the area. So keep that in mind. Okay, areas in purple, that is going to be the winter storm warning. So these areas are going to see a little bit greater accumulations, likely one to four inches of accumulation. Also a little bit breezy in these areas. So we could see some, I wouldn't say drifting snow, but limited visibilities if you are going to be traveling to the southeastern corner of the state, um, the storm is going to be hanging on a little bit longer into this area as it is tracking to the east and to the south right now. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, like we were just saying, with this storm tonight moving out of the area, we are looking at some patchy fog moving in tonight, especially around bodies of water, things like that. Um, and temperatures are cold, but still going to see a little evaporation. So when we turn on the fog tracker late this evening, around 7, we'll start to see some fog building in. Now, don't get too excited about this stuff right here. Um, the only problem with the fog tracker is it tends to pick up cloud cover too. So uh, areas I'm suspecting some fog are we going to uh, likely have her down to Fort Peck, this area here, a little bit north of Lewistown could see some patchy fog along the Missouri River through Great Falls as well. As for Helena, uh, likely into kind of the, the mountain passes, uh, some of those mountain valleys is where that fog is likely going to settle in. Uh, and then kind of just dissipating as the morning rolls around, still notice uh, as we move into tomorrow morning about 6 a.m. now is when it's going to more accurately paint in areas of fog. So likely going to see some extending from cut bank to haver, uh, kind of dissipating around Great Falls and then kind of more widespread fog throughout the eastern plains. Okay, future cast for the remainder of this afternoon and evening and tomorrow. Okay, so here's that heavier band that's set up across the area bringing pretty decent snowfall accumulations. That's going to move out, so likely about 1.30 a.m. tonight. We're going to see just mostly cloudy skies. Still going to see some flurries into the high terrain, but the heaviest of that system tracking to the south and to the east as the evening plays out. Futurecast is showing a little bit of a... Uh, snow trying to move over top of the high terrain tomorrow. I'm leaving the forecast dry tomorrow. I think that it's going to mm, pretty much burn up. I'm, I'm not really anticipating much in the way of moisture moving through. Cloudy, yes. Moisture, no. Uh, I know it's painting in on the future cast, but I, I don't foresee us getting uh, really any more snow tomorrow. A little break in the action Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, but don't get too comfortable. More stuff is moving in on Wednesday, unfortunately. We'll talk about that more tonight on the news, 5.30 and 10 o'clock. As for those overnight lows tonight, cold all across the area. Single digits along the High Line. Very, very cold there. 11 here in Gray Falls tonight. 14 here in Helena. A few single digits as we move into Lewistown as well. Tomorrow, regaining a little bit of strength, finally back up into the 30s for most, 30s along the High Line, 38 in Great Falls, just above 40 in Helena, and a few 30s throughout the Eastern Plains. Again, we'll have more details on this storm system, 5.30 and 10 o'clock tonight. Hope to see you there.